There's nothing I hate more than very political people. I've always found that the more you're into politics, the more you probably hate your life. Well, people love that I hate myself. Yeah, they love that I hate myself. People love that I hate myself. People love that I hate myself. So there's a reason I refuse to ever talk about politics on my channel, but one thing I do love is getting under people's skin. One of my teachers in sixth grade once said, Matt, if there was a job that was related to getting under people's skin, you would be a millionaire. I, I really don't like that guy. Six Trump supporters versus one secret hater. If you're actually in the comment section that's talking about actual politics, I would just like you to know that not only do I not give a shit, but literally nobody does. Right out the gates, before I even click play, we've got larger woman, black hair, purple hair, very dark, done on eyebrows. If you, wait a minute, shit. There's only one secret hater? Cause you totally look like it. I read this wrong. I thought it was six Trump haters versus one secret supporter. And I was gonna be like, okay, well you just gave me a freebie for who's a, a hater. But there's only one hater. Ooh, this is actually gonna be tough. Here we go, here we go. You're, you're incorrect. It is to go to Disneyland. But it's fine. Do what, it, do what you gotta do. You, you idiot. We brought together seven Trump supporters. Wow. Jubilee knows what's up with this shit. Like, okay, six Trump supporters versus one secret hater. They could have just got like six white dudes and one black guy and just made you be like, mm -hmm, what do you want to do, buddy? Look at the cast. They're so good. We've got larger white woman. Very easily could be a Donald Trump hater. We've got ethnically ambiguous... Vietnamese woman? Thai woman? I, I mean, I don't know what we're rocking here, but it's a type of Asian. We've got brown girl. Brown girl, you could be anything. You could be Indian. You could be uh, Persian. You could be maybe Latino. I don't know. If I worked for Family Guy and I needed to draw somebody who hated Donald Trump, I would pretty much just draw this woman right here. You've got fucking 6'4 black dude. Buddy probably played in the league. Very well could be the Trump hater. You've got your standard guy who most definitely on paper voted for Trump. Although that makes me think maybe he is the hater. And then you've got 70 year old white guy. Who doesn't love Donald Trump more than a 70 year old white guy? This is the fucking Avengers of Jubilee videos. This is a great star. I am a Trump supporter. I am a Trump supporter. Woo! With the septum! Anessa! I don't know, Anessa, now you're scaring me. I am a Trump supporter. I yeah, you sure damn look like it, buddy. I am a Okay, okay, every time I do a Jubilee video, I have to guess right at the start, just solely based on looks. Let me run this back. Also, I was so excited to watch McGregor fight, but he broke his pinky toe, so he's out. That being said, though, Alex Perea is stepping in his spot. I can't wait to watch these fights, and I'm definitely gonna try and win some money on these fights with my sponsor, Underdog Fantasy. Underdog Fantasy is the easiest way to play fantasy sports. Here's my entry right here. If you wanna tail me, if you wanna fade me, let me know. Underdog also just released Pick 8, where you can make up to eight selections. You can win up to 325X your entry. It's the craziest offer they've ever had. Underdog's Pick'em is currently available in 30 plus states. That includes Texas, Florida, and even Canada. Make sure to sign up with code MMG to claim your special pick and your first deposit offer of up to $250 in bonus cash. There's a link in the top of the description. There's also a QR code on screen. The fight should be awesome. Make sure to get in on the action with Underdog Fantasy and enjoy the rest of the video. Okay, I feel like the best red herring is probably this guy. For this guy to be a liberal, that's the best red herring because he's like inconspicuous, probably won't talk that much old white guy. So this is the best red herring, but I'm still not gonna guess him. A Trump supporter. I am 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 a Trump supporter. I Okay, you know why I'm gonna guess this girl? I am a Trump supporter. I am a Trump supporter. I am a Trump supporter. I am Watch the cut. Watch the cut on this, the editing cut on this. I'm a Trump supporter. I'm See how that jumps? Makes me think they had to do that take a few times. I'm I voting her based Trump solely supporter. off of that. Natalie's getting my vote right now. So I think we should say why we support him, yeah. since assuming it's we all speed do. round, honey, good um, luck! So did you want to start? Sure. I'm supporting him because I'm a dad. Huh? Uh, I support him because- What? Everybody just took that answer? I, I mean, I know it's the speed round, but what? Does Donald Trump love dads? Does Donald Trump do- What? <laughs> Does it make any fucking sense? All right. Sure. I'm supporting him because I'm a dad. Uh, <laughs> next, next guy. <laughs> what the fuck? Uh, I support him because um, record unemployment rate uh, at all time low, <laughs> stuff like that. Um, He's just giving me such a weird vibe. I might just vote this dude off because he's kind of pissing me off already. It's been about two seconds. It does look like he tried too hard too. He's got a navy suit on with an American pin. So he either went out and got that for this or he truly is a Trump supporter. I think he's getting voted off this round, but I'm not certain that he's the bull. Tend to like touch their face. I really love how he's a Christian and he loves Jesus and God. 
That does come with being a Christian. He's actually uh, <laughs> the only president in history that's quicker said. because we have yeah. like six people. Yeah, own that fucking fraud. Vote. I'm gonna identify three people that I think are safe that are definitely Trump supporters. Far left girl, you're safe in my books. You're safe. You do look ultra religious. So I'm giving her safe. I'm giving tall black dude safe. But he said he likes the constitution. He had a firm stance on that. You're taking me home. Right down the middle. You are too obviously looking like a Trump hater to be the Trump hater. Like, okay, if she was the secret hater, she wouldn't have done the purple hair, I don't think. I think she would have switched it up. Okay, so you're safe. You're safe. You're safe. That's down to our two ethnically ambiguous women and our two white men. Zachariah's giving me a weird vibe. Mike said he votes for her because he because he's a dad. I don't fucking get it, but whatever. Natalie and Anessa. Honestly, a really good point. Like a lot of people don't like talking about politics. So like, I don't think that, cause Anessa was nervous. She could have just been nervous cause she was kind of embarrassed to go on this big show and like talk about politics, you know? I think it was the nerves, not making eye contact with anybody, being a little, the speed round's tough, Anessa. I'll give that to you. But I definitely do not think she was the mole. I think that was an incorrect vote. She's not. I believe her, but it's just not a good way to play. It's not a good way to play the game, but I believe her. I still don't think she's the mole either, but that's a bad answer. It's a very bad answer. It was like the other one. I was just watching the one where it's like six lesbians versus one straight girl or six straight girls versus one lesbian. That's what it was. And one of those girls like, she's like, I'm 85% straight. And it's like, honey, we get it. You kissed your best friend at a party one time when you were drunk, but you don't got to share that during the game show. Cause you're not doing yourself any favors. Curious that vote for Donald Trump. You are so unbelievably safe. You are the safest man in this room right now. We have a constitution. And if you can't respect our laws. Constitution twice. This man is red fucking pilled. He's voting, Donnie. Bring him back. Yeah, it's better that you don't come. Hell yeah, brother. Woo! I'm fucking amped up now. Holy shit. You know he was a Trump supporter. It flowed. Yep. You get your news. Tell him, Mike. I don't watch any cable. Buddy, if Keith is is a Donald Trump hater, my shit just got fucking whooped. Oh, Shut the fuck up! That guy might be the liberal. He might just be being a dick. I, he might be the liberal, bro. He might be the hater. I think he's the secret hater. Is he buying in so hard, or is this guy actually proudly announcing that he gets all of his information from Infowars? The really informed people here. <laughs> <laughs> you got it. You got to be on top of your game if you're gonna yeah. ever talk about politics with that. She is actually my front runner for the mole. Th Natalie's my front runner for the mole. You come from a, a family of immigrants I I from India and Mexico, and you're very happy about immigration, then you're gonna vote Donald Trump. That doesn't make any sense. But he's building the wall, honey. Hey, that wall gets built. You ain't getting it. Dude, he's either playing a character. Oh, it's so hard to tell. I'm gonna be honest. This has been the hardest one for me, for sure. I honestly have three, like three of these people could be the mole to me. And that's far left could be very religious. Is Buddy Cos playing Alex Jones and, and her dad was in the military? I guess it's possible to just... I think she just made it all up. Wow, dude, she was so good. She had the fucking game plan down. Standing on the Bible and the military as your background, you're so golden. Wow, what a good play. She really pulled the pro-life card. She definitely had it in the bag. I support it because I'm an ad. Others agreed that that was fucking ridiculous. As soon as Mike said I'm a Trump supporter, I 1000% believed him. I cannot believe Zacharias was in the mole. His answers were criminally suspicious. Zach's whole argument was mumble mumble Jesus Christ, all divine God mumble mumble. I support him because I'm a dad. The scary thing is that Zacharias isn't the mole. Imagine being surrounded by people talking about how great a guy you hate is. I agree that it would be tough, but dude, she played such a good role that she really couldn't lose. <laughs> that was the damn reason. I genuinely thought it was Zach because he seems like he's doing a bit. I thought that too. He's not doing a bit. Yeah, dude, that was one of the best moles I've ever seen. This was my favorite one, bro. She was so good. She got down to the round of three too. I bet you she would have got down to two. I bet you they would have collectively voted off Natalie and she could have won that whole thing. All right, y'all. I hope you guys enjoyed. This is one of my favorite ones yet. I love you. I'll see you in the next video. Peace. Oh.